hi guys long time it's been a while and i am back so today i want to do a little bit of something different i want to talk about me i've talked about visa 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 student visa student visa all those stuff okay so i want to talk about me 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 and from today i want to be dropping videos every week basically about how my week went so you're going to be seeing more of my personal videos so i hope you enjoy them learn one or two things and share ideas together first of all i want to make this look i don't work with embassy I don't give visa. I've said it so many times in my video. I wonder why people come to my inbox and my messages and start telling me. Some people even give me order. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Uh, 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 I need this immediately. Please uh, 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 attend to me. As I, I am not immigration. I'm just sharing some information. Information that is up there. On the internet but you don't want to see so i'm just giving you this information don't come and start asking me for so many things i don't give okay i don't give visa i don't even know the way i don't even know how to i don't know people who give visa that's the truth many people out there say they give visa it's none of my business i just give you the basic information as an insider so whatever you want to do with it is totally on you not on me please please so messages are so annoying and I don't like it. Okay, so I want to talk about something that happened to me this week. I am a teacher. I work in uh, an after school. You can call it academy. So here in Korea, they call it Hagwon. There are lots of Hagwon in, Hagwons in Korea. They, they have English Hagwons, Math Hagwons. Science hagwons, art hagwons, music hagwons, piano hagwons, so more, many, a lot, so forth. I said so more. So, if you are lucky enough to teach, it's very rare. Well, if you are lucky enough to teach, it's it's nice. So you can teach. So I teach. Okay, I teach kids. I teach kids from age 8 to 15, middle school student. I used to teach, oh no, I've never taught high school student. Yeah, I've taught high school student once. But now, currently, I'm teaching from grade 1 to middle school 3. Yeah, so I teach them. So something happened today. It's not even today, sorry. Something happened this week. Uh, it didn't start now. It started maybe last year. So there's this group of students that came in. They are age bracket eight and nine. So there's this particular boy. He always gets on my nerves all the time. So I'm teaching and he's making lots of noises. And he's mimicking me. And sometimes he's so sweet. I would put it out. His name is Jay. That's his English name. He's a very cute boy. Sometimes he listens. And sometimes he's so sweet. Teacher, I want to drink water. I want to go to the bathroom. I want to eat. I'm hungry. Bye-bye, teacher. How are you, teacher? Sometimes when he comes to school, he even gives me candy. But he is very, very naughty very naughty i don't know and because i have a son so i i think i could handle kids of his age i usually love doing things with the older ones those people that you can just talk to and they listen this boy gives me headache and i do i overlook everything he does i actually overlook everything since he came in this i've taught him for about for about five months or more than five months Yes, or there about. So once once he comes to the class, when he's very happy, the class is okay. But when he's, it's as if there's a point or a, or a note that gets switched in his brain. He starts acting normal. Like, I, we can, I can just be teaching and he'll just stand up and... 
what's the problem what have i done to you why do you want to frustrate my life and here in korea it's not like africa where you have to punish students you don't even try that kind of nonsense here they will just call police for you they don't even need to uh, they don't even, i mean they don't even need to tell their parents they'll just call 911 immediately that's their emergency police number here and you come and explain why you are touching their kids they don't in fact no amount of anything so most times he keeps doing that and doing that and doing that i i overlook him i just concentrate on those the kids that are behaving well in class and you know kids they easily get distracted and once he's doing that other kids wants to join him so fast forward to mon on monday this week i was really feeling a little bit sick i had i think i had a flu so i i wasn't really in the mood for any nonsense i just wanted to just teach go to the class teach and even the uh sometimes i crack jokes and I, I didn't want to i just wanted to teach do my work and leave the class i have a we have a home run teacher and she's korean and hers is better when the kids are doing anything she can just tell them and speak korean and caution i don't know how to i speak korean a little okay but i don't know how to come and i don't know how to go deep into all those deep korean language and all those things so on monday i it was my i, I think it was on tuesday i was teaching them and he started again and even talking blah, 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 blah. <laughs> i looked at him i told him i don't have strength today i don't even have strength to come and tell you keep quiet or anything just mind yourself and he's he said what is mind yourself what am i talking about i'm saying mind yourself exactly this the same way i'm doing it is the way he does it and he's a kid i know he's a kid i just i overlooked him and on on thursday too immediately the class wanted to start he did the same thing and i usually do not i don't report any kid i just treat them in class and once the class time is over i forget about everything they did and move on to the next class but that day i really felt bad so i came to my uh co-teacher she's korean i told her this boy is really giving me half he's giving me tough time and i don't like it maybe you should talk to him and she said okay don't worry even and my co-teacher's daughter is in my class so she usually tells her mom, oh, this boy talks to Shalom this way and it's really bad. He's really stressing Shalom. So my co-teacher told me, oh, my son, my daughter said he's really bad and he says like some rude words to you. I told her, yes, that's true. Fast forward to Thursday. This boy started again. Like I just came in and after the jokes and we were learning this song, uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, he doesn't want to take part in anything. He doesn't want to sing. He just wants to misbehave and I wasn't having it. I wasn't having it at all. I just walked him out of the class. At first I told him to stand up and leave the class and he told me no. I had to drag him. I dragged him out and I closed the door and he went to the window. <laughs> See, if somebody wants to frustrate your life, eh, they will go to any extent. Even if they are as little as what the devil will use them to, to frustrate you. And he went to the window and he was now doing like... Oh, ah, those stuff. <laughs> he was doing those stuff. And now my kids in class, I'm teaching them and they are looking out of the window. It was just very distracting. I had to look for something to cover the window. Because the window is usually open. It's it's transparent. The glass is transparent. So you can see everything I'm doing in class. It's usually like that because my boss usually goes to and fro to see what's happening in class and to see students who are in class and those who aren't in class. Because I just teach them one hour. Each class is an hour. And each class is an hour. I, I looked for uh, uh, sheets of papers and covered the window basically used a, a tape so my my as the assistant director for my academy he passed and he saw the boy outside of the class and he know he knew that this boy is very troublesome 
and he knew that I've never sent any student out of my class. In fact, I've never even complained about anyone. When they are telling me, is this person, when they're asking me, is this person bad? Is this person, I just say, hey, they're just kids. They'll just, they, this is their, uh, this is how kids behave. So he was really surprised that I sent someone out and he knew. So he didn't even ask me because I was even saying if anybody just come and ask me because I would just kukuma go and go out of the class and let the person teach because I wasn't happy because I was really sick. And my boss knew I was sick. He was asking me, can you teach today? If you don't want to teach, if you don't have strength, just go home. For me, I just said I don't want to stay at home because staying home will be boring. So let me just teach. This boy stood outside of the class, distracted. Even the small space that, that was there, he took his face like this and be distracting all that people. What can I do in this kind of situation? Anyways, I continued teaching and there was a time I wanted him to come inside. So I went outside to talk to him and immediately he saw me. He left and asked me why. Like what? What what do you want to talk about? Like that. I just left him and came back inside. So my boss came and saw him outside, took him to his office and spoke to him. And my boss said he has to apologize to me. So my boss came into the came to the class, knocked on the door and opened the door. He was like, Oh, shalom, please uh, allow him to stay in class today. And he, my boss told the little boy, You have to apologize. And the little boy was like, I, I am showing sure, yeah. <laughs> it. Like this. You know, that kind of apology too. Be peppering your heart. You don't even know. You'll be like, if I slap this one, eh? Oh, I'm showing sure, yeah. I'm showing sure, yeah. And my boss said, You have to apologize for I am showing sure, yeah. I And he and my boss told him, Don't worry, just allow him to learn. My boss left the class. This boy came inside. And I came to sit in the front where he will not be distracting everybody. I told him never. Just go to the back and sit. And he went to the back seat. Stood on the chair. And asked, was trying to stand on the table. What kind of wahala is this? I told him just go. Go out. Today is, you don't even want to learn today. Just go out. Go out. I don't have strength. Because I told him to come down. And he did the same thing again. I told him to leave the class. And he left the class. So when he left the class, I finished, when I finished teaching, the bell rang uh, and he came in to take his back. He didn't even talk to me. He didn't say anything. I was just smiling instead of mine. I said, look at this little baby. And he went, he left the class. I felt really bad. I felt really, really bad. I was like, I'm not going to teach him again. But then who's going to teach him if I don't teach him? I usually have them twice or thrice a week, depending. We always, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, we regulate it. So if I'm to teach today, my co-teacher teaches them the next day. So that was after teaching, my co-teacher taught on Friday. Now, <laughs> I'm going to teach him on Monday. I I don't have anything in mind against him because he's little, he's little, he's really a little boy. He's really little and he's sweet. And he's also very annoying. So Monday is the class time. So if you have any idea of how to deal with this little boy, just tell me because after that day, my 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 director called me and he was like telling me, I know the guy is so he he is very disturbing. Sometimes he goes to the hospital. I think he has mental problem or anything, but just just manage him, just manage him. I know it's difficult, just manage it's difficult to teach kids i mean teaching is a very hard job it's people look at it they're oh, it's not just going there to stand in the class and but when you have some serious kids who are giving you pain who are pain in your ass you don't i don't i don't even know how to start so please this is my question if you have any idea to treat this one is no longer visa issue please help a sister because i'm going to teach him on monday my thought is that i'm just going to ignore him i'll keep ignoring him. but then i want him to learn he came to school to learn so if i keep ignoring him we are doing a song an english song now twinkle twinkle little star others are learning and he doesn't even know how to pronounce twinkle and he's calling it trinkle and i don't even know where to start because if i want to teach him i'm 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 Please, help me.
okay any idea on how to treat this kid it's really welcome thank you and if you drop a card really really now i need comments i need comments if you drop a comment i'm going to view it and i'm going to select the one i'm going to and i'm coming back next weekend to tell you how it went thank you and keep in touch with charlotte bye